Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Jeremy, in case you're new here, and today I wanna to show you how to live stream in 360 degrees onto YouTube using the Ricoh Theta S. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go to theta360.com. I'm gonna have a link in the description, and you're gonna to wanna to scroll down, and you're gonna choose the live streaming app, whether you have a 32-bit version of Windows or the 64-bit, or if you're using Mac. So I'm on 64-bit, and I'm gonna do download, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this. I'm actually gonna right click and run as administrator. Hit yes. Gonna follow through the whole installation process here. Just next it all, it's all default. And we're gonna launch the application. So at this point, I do not have the Rico Theta S plugged into my PC. And as soon as I plug it in, you'll notice that it's gonna detect that. So we'll wait a second, I just plugged it in. Okay, great. Um, Yes, let's choose the Rico Theta S, hit OK, and click register. So that's all we're doing here is registering this camera. Hit finish. So now that we have the driver installed on the PC, we're going to unplug the USB cable from the Theta. Notice that the light gets turned off. So we're gonna have to simultaneously push the power button and the video slash camera button here at the same time. And you'll notice that the live streaming LED comes up here. So I'm gonna hit them at the same time. And now you can see it says live. All right, now that we have the Theta live streaming, I'm gonna plug the USB cable right back into the computer. Now the next step is to go to obsproject.com this is what's gonna allow us to live stream the 360 video onto YouTube. So I'm using OBS Studio. You can choose Classic, they're both gonna work. So I'm gonna choose Windows 10 and I'm gonna get that installed and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so I have OBS Studio open here and what you wanna do is under Scenes, hit the plus button and I'm just gonna name this 360 Live Stream and hit OK. Now over on the right side, I'm gonna hit the plus button and I'm gonna hit video capture device. And I'm gonna name this Theta S and hit okay. Now we'll see that the camera uh, defaults to the laptop. Yo, what's up? Uh, so we're gonna go to Theta UVC Blender. Now this is here because we installed that driver. So hit that and it's gonna open up uh, the video, the two lenses, it's gonna be stitched together. There we go, gonna hit okay. Now the first thing we notice, it doesn't fill the whole screen, so what we wanna do is just drag that out till it's all the way to the side. And now you notice that there's some dead space at the bottom, it needs to be filled or else it's not gonna look good on YouTube. So I'm gonna right click on here, go to transform, and then stretch to screen. Now we're all set. Now I'm gonna hop over to YouTube. I'm in the live streaming events section in my YouTube account. I'm gonna go to new live event and basically just fill this all out. Whatever you got, just name it. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to advanced settings, scroll down and check off down here. This live stream is 360 degrees and then just save it. Uh, let's do, yeah, create event. Okay, I couldn't create the event because I don't have a title. So test. And then we're going to do create event. And now what you want to do is under the ingestion settings, we're going to go to select a stream. I'm going to create a new one here so you can see how to do this. So I'm going to do uh, 360 stream. Uh, you don't need a description. This is just for you. Uh, so maximum sustained bit rate. I'm going to go to uh, 3000 to 6000 and then hit save changes. Now, um, basically this is blocked off, you can't see it, but this is your stream name, so you need to copy that. So copy whatever is in here, and now we're gonna go back to OBS. Okay, so I am now in OBS. I'm gonna go to settings, and we're gonna go to stream, and choose you know your streaming service, so we got uh, YouTube, obviously, and then choose the server. You could go with the primary, and then that key, that stream key, you're gonna to wanna to paste that right in there. Now, under output, this all depends on uh, what your internet connection is. Uh, so I tried 10,000, it works great, so that's what I went, went with. And now, if you go to audio, 
you can actually choose which audio device you want to use. If you have an external audio device, I have the Rode NT-USB, so that's what I'm using here. Or you could use the microphone built into the Ryko. Do whatever you want. Now the next step would be to just hit start streaming and after you hit start streaming you'll notice under the in your youtube account under live control youtube will notice that there's a stream incoming and basically that's all there is to it i did a test a few days ago it worked out great there was no laggy issues uh you know there's just one problem with this it's just a 1080p output and for 360 degree videos uh you know 1080p is not that great but you know, in its early stages, it's pretty awesome that you could do this with a simple camera like this. Uh, just keep in mind, I have you know all the links to whatever you need down in the description for the OBS software and also the uh, you know the driver for the Rico Theta S here. Um, but anyway, if you guys have any other questions, if you're having if you're running into a problem setting this up, just send me a comment and I'll try to help you out. But that's it. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I'll see you in my next one.